morning everybody. I'm um, just making some breakfast for Becca because she's not feeling very well today so she's still in bed. Um, so we've just got some uh, bacon and egg to make a sandwich. Um, got a pop up to me grand's house because um, she asked us to fix something for her. So I'm going to go have a look at that um, and then I think we might head to the cinema. Uh, or plans might change because it's a really nice day so we'll let you know what we're going to do when we decide. So we're not going to the pitch as a day, we've decided to go to Durham City Centre, um, which is really nice, you'll see when we get there. The the films that we want to see are on at like stupid times. Um, it seems like they've only got this, the films on for like when the kids finish school or when people have finished work. There doesn't seem to be anything on during the day. Um, so we're just ready to go out, going to go down to Durham for the day, um, going to go to the castle and the cathedral where Harry Potter was filmed, so I'll try my best to show you that. Um, not a lot of Harry Potter was filmed there, but a few scenes from the first two or three films I think were filmed there, so I'll try and show you the clips when we're there. We're going to have a little walk around the city, stop for some lunch and maybe a walk along the river, so we'll see what happens when we get there. We're at Durham Castle, well we're not at the castle yet, it's actually behind us. Um, so we're just going to go have a walk up, just stop for five minutes to sit down because we're a bit tired. Just had some dinner on the river from uh, the Bishop's Mill, um, gorgeous. So we'll show you when we get up to the castle and the cathedral. So that's the cathedral there, you can't really see for the sun, but it's absolutely massive. So they did film a few parts of Harry Potter in here, so if it's open we'll go in and see if we can show you. So we're now inside of the cathedral. Oh, it's huge. So I did get told off for video recording in the cathedral, hence why there's no footage in there. But now we're in the corridors where Harry Potter was filmed and um, we're just walking down them now. So this is where Harry Potter was filmed. To show you the courtyard. So if you're a Harry Potter fan you'll have remembered this scene and also these corridors. So this is the castle made out of Lego. So we're back down the corridors of Harry Potter. Obviously, bar the construction, it looks absolutely amazing. So I can't remember exactly what film the scenes were in. I think it might have just been the Philosopher's Stone, maybe it's the Chamber of Secrets. If anybody knows, leave a comment below. So we're walking out of the um, cathedral, there's the castle up there. And we're just going to this little tea room for a drink because it is roasting, it's not a cloud in the sky, it's about 20 degrees. So we've just stopped at the local cafe for a drink. Nice Fanta. Imagine living there. So we walked over that bridge earlier on to get into the little village and this is the riverfront um, you can rent boats down there in that restaurant the boat club looks nice and there's boat cruises that way as well So we're back from Durham and um, I hope you enjoyed 
the clips that we've just shown. We weren't there long, it was really, really hot. It was about 22 degrees, um, which is hotter than I thought. We didn't put any sun cream on. Um, we're starting to get tired because it's a lot of walking around Durham. So we're back home now. Um, we've bought some cocktail drinks to have. Um, not very manly on my part, but it's nice. So I just wanted nice fruity drinks. So I'll show you them and we'll go downstairs. We've got them in the fridge chilling. We're also going to make another batch of churros. We've bought some proper piping bags. So hopefully they turn out better than the other ones. And we're just going to sit in the garden for a bit because it's nice. Still a nice night. Um, tomorrow, if the weather is nice, it's Annick Castle. Um, again, which where a lot of Harry Potter was filmed. So we'll talk about that in a bit. So these are the cocktails we've got. Um, Cosmopolitan. Yeah, that's just like a Desperado lager with tequila. I got Captain Morgan Mojito. I got a Pim strawberry to try because I've always wanted to try Pims. And these are Becca. She got a, a Copperberg mixed fruit. Um, a Recorder leg strawberry. I think and it's elderfl elderflower and mint with vodka. She got a Cosmopolitan and um, blackberry and elderflower Pims to try. Then we've got our piping kits um, for this. One for the churros and we're making some Nutella churros as well so we've got like one of each and some more vanilla essence so we're going to crack on now and make them so we've got the oil heating up for the churros Becca's busy melting the butter now I just need to put a big hole in the flour there we go like that's just adding the vanilla extract and we just need to pour it into here straight in the hole yeah yeah it just needs to be stirred So now I'm just making the um, cinnamon sugar that they're all rolled in. There's no exact recipe to this, just however much cinnamon you like. And you just need to stir it up. Good to me. So there's the batter ready to go. We're just going to put it in the piping bag and then get the churros in the pan. There's the churros going in. So there's some of the first churros we've done. Like I've got some more in the pan and I've got the batter mix ready here in the piping bag. As you can see, well it's been put in the bin. The first piping bag split straight away because the mix is a little bit too thick. So when we do the second batch, we're going to make sure the mix is a little bit more runnier. So I wanted one Munster Churro. So that was the last of the batter and that's what we managed to get out of it. So after this, I just need rolled in the cinnamon sugar left to cool and then that'll be them. So we've got our Epcot plate out again with a little saucer for the chocolate sauce dip which Becca's making. And now I'm just about to roll the churros in the sugar. And there we have it, some homemade churros with the cinnamon sugar um, and some chocolate dipping sauce again in the Epcot food and wine. So we haven't really got anything else planned for tonight, we're maybe just going to watch a film. Lately I've been wanting to watch some of the Disney films, like uh, I really fancy watching Monsters, Inc., Monsters University and the Toy Story films, so we might get to watch one of them tonight. We've got a lot recorded on the TiVo box as well. Um, we'll not be staying up too late because we'll probably be up quite early to get to, to up to Annex so we'll get the most out of the day. I might look on the computer now and look at buying the tickets um, in advance because it's normally the cheaper online. So I'm going to have a look at that now and we'll see you in a little bit. So I've just decided to end the vlog here tonight. We're not really doing anything exciting and I don't want to take um, 
the, the message away from the main video which has been Durham Cathedral, the Harry Potter location and also making the churros so when I pivot tomorrow we'll be going to Annie Castle which is funny enough another Harry Potter filming location which you will recognise because they do film a lot more of the film there than they do with um, Durham Castle so hopefully we'll be up there tomorrow We'll let you know tomorrow morning, if not, of what we're doing. And of course, we'll be taking you along with her. So that's it for tonight. Remember, stay tuned.